Prince Philip made a number of special requests for his funeral, uh, but this may have been the most unconventional of them all. The Duke arranged for a royal photographer to be hidden outside St George's Chapel. And this morning he's sharing his secret orders, an incredible undercover mission. He wanted a no-fuss funeral and told his family to just get on with it. But it didn't stop Prince Philip from planning his final farewell in detail. From his favourite riding carriage to his bespoke Land Rover, it was full of personal touches and a last laugh. I am joined by royal photographer Arthur Edwards, who was taking photos, of course, but from a very unusual location. The Duke decided he wanted a photographer to be hidden inside a fake pillar at the top of the stairs leading into St George's Chapel. Arthur Edward was given the honour, sitting inside for three hours and capturing the royal family's raw emotion up close through a letterbox style opening. I had this perfect gap of about five yards where I could get the pictures that mattered. And Arthur Edwards joins us now. Wow. You have been a royal photographer with the Sun for 44 years, seven royal weddings, four royal funerals you've captured, eight royal births. Was this the strangest royal request you've ever received? Certainly was. You know, when I pulled the... Uh pass out the ballot. I was, uh, I, I thought about it several times because you had to crawl through a little hole to get in there and, uh, and they insisted I stayed there for three hours and actually the three hours went very quickly and, and it was, uh, it was just a great place to be. Is it this extraordinary? The Duke planned it. You know, we know he had, was very hands-on with the, the Land Rover carrying it, the coffin. Was he involved in building of the, the pillar? Um, as well no, as no. the planning? Well, that was that was put up in two days by the, by the palace carpenters uh, and they did a very good job. I mean, you, unless you, was this, you think it was the, the, the pillar there when you look at it at first. Uh, but um, you can see my little letter book where I was uh, aiming my camera. Yeah, that's amazing. Tell us how it came about, though, how the request came about. Well, we, uh, we have to ballot for these positions and... Uh, I got this one, and I, and I couldn't believe it. It's, uh, it's the best one of all. It's where you've got the actual, uh, the Marines carrying their uh, Captain General uh, up the steps for the, for the last, his last journey, and it was, a, it, was a, it, was, it was a terrific position to have, and I felt very proud to do it, you know, and, and, and seeing the, the royals, the princes, walking in afterwards, and Prince Charles was absolutely brokenhearted, and... Uh, that was the sad thing about it all. But, you know, the military, the pomp, the, the service, the way it all went like clockwork. The Marines never flinched carrying that heavy casket up the, uh, up the stairs there. It was, it, was just, it was just great to be there. I was, I was literally emotionally drained when I come out of there. I, I just thought it was a, an amazing experience. Oh, I bet you were. So yeah. being up close and you had your camera and the telephoto lens... You had a better view of Harry and William than anybody. Were they getting on? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's oh, touched no. something. Did you? Yeah. I, think I think you touched the mute button, Arthur. Turn yourself back on. Turn yourself. How are you? Give it another go. You there? We think you've muted yourself. Oh, oh, no. Arthur. Can we lip read? Uh, give us a thumbs up. Were they getting on? Or the thumbs down. Or the thumbs down. Oh, I doesn't know. Oh, something. Oh. Gee. Oh, OK. That was palace security. <laughs> <laughs> was, it so, the, was it the Chinese or the Russians cutting us off? It was the palace. No, it was... They were the cyber. It was Harrods. <laughs> they always said it was. OK. <laughs>